A big shortage of vaccines may just prevent the world from controlling monkeypox early. And social distancing in masks may easily be a main weapon against monkeypox as well. Indeed, the lessons from the COVID crisis will help contain monkeypox, which has already been labeled a public health emergency by the WHO. For the moment, monkeypox has blown up into a global crisis. Already, the world has reported more than 16,000 cases across 75 countries. So far, it has spread among gays and bisexuals, but it's another viral illness that can spread through close people-to-people -people contact. And that's the worry. India too has reported a few cases and can't be complacent. We'll tell you how the world plans to fight monkeypox. Now experts believe monkeypox is nowhere as infectious as COVID, but there has been a spurt in cases nevertheless. The US now has about 3,000 cases and that's about 10 times higher than a month ago. And in Europe, the cases tripled to 4,500 in just a fortnight on July 1st. For the moment, this is an outbreak that is concentrated among men who have sex with men, especially those with multiple sexual partners, said the WHO Director General on July 23rd while declaring it a public health emergency. But the US has reported cases among children as well, triggering concerns it can spread beyond gays and bisexuals. So what is monkeypox? Monkeypox is a viral zoonotic infection and can spread from animals to humans. It comes from the same family of viruses that causes smallpox. And that is why smallpox vaccines are effective in combating monkeypox as well. Monkeypox symptoms are mild and rarely cause fatalities. Before the outbreak this year, monkeypox was endemic in Central and Western African nations. Common symptoms of monkeypox are fever, headache, muscle aches, back pain, fatigue, and swollen lymph nodes. This is accompanied by a rash on some parts of the body, including the face, eyes, mouth, throat, groin, genital, and anal regions of the body. The symptoms usually persist for two to three weeks and gradually disappear on their own, though some medication may be required for fever or pain. The WHO says the virus does not only spread through sexual contact, but also through any form of close contact with someone who is infectious. Persons living in the same household are at higher risk as the WHO. Monkeypox when spread to people from physical contact with infected animals as seen in West and Central Africa. Animal hosts predominantly have been rodents and primates. Now the US and Europe plan a big vaccination drive to fight the monkeypox menace. Smallpox vaccines have been found effective against monkeypox as well. In fact, one of them has been specifically approved for monkeypox. Gynios in the US manufactured by Bavarian Nordic. Meanwhile, the EU on Monday also cleared Bavarian Nordic smallpox vaccine, marketed there as Invernex. But matching the soaring demand for the vaccine with adequate supplies will be a big challenge. Already, there have been long queues outside clinics in the US and big shortages of the two-dose Gynios. Smallpox vaccination was stopped globally in 1979 after the disease was eradicated. Vaccines production too was tapered off and it's not known whether India has the ability to mass manufacture smallpox vaccines if required. There is another dimension to the vaccination debate. The WHO categorically says only people who are at risk should be considered for vaccination. Mass vaccination is not recommended at this time. But a priority for the WHO will be to ensure that the world doesn't see acute vaccination shortages in some parts and prevent the kind of vaccine inequities we saw during the COVID crisis. Meanwhile, the US Food and Drug Administration FDA, has also sounded a note of caution. In the US, along with Gynios, there is another vaccine available, but it is believed to have serious side effects. Even the Gynios vaccine can cause muscle pain, headache, fatigue, nausea, and chills. Interestingly, in Singapore, the Ministry of Health does not recommend mass vaccination against monkeypox, claiming the benefits do not outweigh the risks. So like COVID, the best way to defeat monkeypox is by preventing infections. The approach to preventing a monkeypox infection is in some ways similar to fighting COVID. Since it's spread by close people-to-people -people contact, 
Social distancing and wearing masks in public places is already being advised by some experts. A surgical mask will work, though obviously an N95 is the safest. The risk of catching monkey fox from animals can be reduced by avoiding unprotected contact with wild animals. As another precaution, any food containing animal meat should be cooked thoroughly before eating. So while monkeypox may be different from COVID, the fight against it is in many ways similar to that against COVID.